You know, I, I, don't, I haven't verified that, but they've told me that I was the, the youngest dean ever. So, um, but yeah, maybe, maybe it's so, um, or maybe I just look young, but you can see my hair is kind of falling out. Can you see that? Yeah, that's a good question. How my students would describe me. I, I think as um, a wildly energetic, pretty, pretty passionate, Sometimes I'm, I'm a little bit admittedly out there. Um, I've, been, I've been told that I'm thinking kind of long cycles, kind of, kind of way, way ahead. And I do enjoy really like envisioning preferred futures. And yes, I attended Singularity University Executive Leadership Program. And, and, and that, was, that was my desire. And it was my desire to go there. Really just what I like to call those right brain moments, to put myself into right brain moments and, and, and really think about things that are outside the realm of veterinary medicine so that then you can take that and transpose kind of what you've learned and thought about and there into veterinary medicine. Right now, we're, we're talking about, you know, teletriage, we're talking about texting or apps that pull together, you know, on-chain, off-chain repositories and texts and videos. And when everybody's educated on that, well, what's after that? Well, is a virtual marketplace in a virtual world where you put on a you put on a headset and you're interacting in a virtual fashion with a veterinarian in there, and you can set up storefronts inside there and help to make diagnoses in that regard. And guess what? Medicines are 3D printed in your house, and the veterinarian just provides a script through an electronic means. I'm, I'm making this up, right? But you can see how there's there's always going to be a need to think about the eventualities and the futures of, of wh where technology is, is going gonna, is gonna to take us. There's so many things that are going on. The medicine is changing, societal consumer demands, diagnostics are changing, moving toward the quantified patient, pet gen thesis, technology, clinical experience is, is changing. The, the team, quite frankly, the veterinary team is changing, right? The team doesn't even have to reside within the four walls of the veterinary hospital at this point. What are the groups that could come together to provide actionable, digestible resources? And, and that was one of the drivers for forming the Veterinary Virtual Care Association was to be able to try to be a go-to place for busy practitioners, practice managers, veterinary nurses, everyone to be able to come through and, and learn a little bit about how, okay, I can't do it all. And I, and, I, and I know, I see the eventualities that all of these things are gonna kind of wrap together for, for, for this movement to the future of, of, of pet health care, but I can't, I can't deal with all that right now. I just need some small, digestible, actionable pieces and some connections, maybe some companies that are doing some things here. If we can work toward as a group to pull together uh, resources that, that can be helpful, then, then I think you know, we're doing something great for the veterinary ecosystem.